Dire team pick. And we're into the match again. This is the best of three series between Vega Squadron and my insanity for the loser bracket final, semi final, I mean, of the Mountain Trail Challenge. I am sadly alone right now because my co caster had to leave. And let's just uh, go into the matches right now. Uh, I'm sorry we are a little bit far into the draft, but it went all really, really fast. And sorry about that. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, take a little bit of the looks here right now for the Vegas side. So far they've banned out the Spirit Breaker, the Viper, Broadmother, as well as the AA. And they've picked up the Gyrocop, the Dazzle and Dark Seer. The side of my Sanity, so far they have uh, Clockwork, Rubik, Shadowfiend and Lifestealer in their... Uh, well, in their draft. And they banned out the Queen of Pain, Lashrack, Shadow Demon, as well as the uh, Dragon Knight. Clockwork and Life Sealer, pretty natural combination there. You just hook shot in with the invest. Just to say it out straight away. So that's just fun to see all the time. Just somebody goes in and uh Wind Ranger at your service. Radiant team ban. And well, why do you want mo uh, mod rights? Bear Kai 32. What do you what do you have for it? What do we give me? What do you want? Yes, earn real money now. Anyhow, uh, look at this. Okay, Wind Ranger has been picked up by the side of Vega. So, I actually really like the lineup with the Dark Seer. They all get really, really fast apart on just the Wind Run. Wind Ranger himself with the Dazzle, they're able to just keep everybody alive all the time. And even with Shadow Grave on the next time, can just make sure that the Gyro get the maximum gas out or the Wind Ranger for that matter or just save his team himself. I see him the life stealer. We see him come back from time to time. It really depends on the team if they really have that strong life stealer, life steal player. With the recent uh, buff to the open boost, now what is it? Fifty percent slow. So it's really nice to see. Come on. Again, we see the mindset nice coming up with a little bit more of a uh, mid game or I guess a yeah, mid game. This is yeah, this is a nice mid game oriented lineup, which in the second game they were so strong with. Yeah, Vega, they said no. Hell no. No Meepo. No Meepo for you. So they ban it out. Because, yeah, even. At first, the gyrocopter is. It's okay, it kind of works. Five well, and not well at the same time. But they, apart from the Wind Ranger, they don't really have a lot of damage to really kill them off. Just Gyro and Wind Ranger aren't enough to keep a, a Meepo down. So yeah, I can get uh, the band there with my insanity. Uh... <laughs> Not getting uh, me put there and <laughs> being banned out. And my insanity on the other side, they ban out the winter wife, and so they're just gonna get away the annoying hero that the ultimate that goes for BKB, which forces you <laughs> to hit your own teammates. It's so nasty. As well as just uh, the healing and the defensive capabilities of Colt and Brace there as well. Oh, and I just completely forgot to update Moobot, I think. I'm sorry about that, I will do it right now. Let's see. So far, they're taking the time, my sanity. They're missing another support, and yeah, for Lizard T. Uh, that would have been a nice pickup to get a Meepo here, but yeah. Again, it's banned, so they might be looking at uh, Visage. That's something that they like to pick up for him as well. And. I'm really wondering, yeah, they need some other support with Rubik. What can go well with Rubik here? They can even do something a little bit... Well, and common and useful. They pick up a Mirana or something like that, but they're gonna go for a list. They're gonna go defensively. They just wanna win the lanes and from there on start snowballing out. That's the game plan for my sanity. Get Clockwork is level 6, start ganking then a little bit, but... Sage, you keep it a little bit passive in the beginning of the game. And... Uh, Vega respond back to that with a slaughter, so uh, all the minus armor that comes out of the Shadow Fiend, uh, he gets straight <laughs> thrown back into his face with a little bit more from the amplified damage. A little bit of an. Uh...
<laughs> and yeah. We're just gonna see how it goes right now. Lanes was gonna be G is gonna be in the mid lane wind ranger here, so Mac is gonna be the off lane Pasha and then we have a... No. Support Gyro? Yeah, we have a support gyro here. Okay. Is that something you see all the time? That uh... well, especially with the nerf to his rocket barrage, it just makes him a little bit less of a strong. Uh... Yeah, a little bit less strong. Yeah, early game support. The, the nuke is just less. But yes, apart from that, still really strong hero. We get some good legs coming out from both sides. Knight, Milane, Bashu, and uh, we'll see if the RNG is with uh, with Pasha here. And now they're just starting to wander around everywhere they go. Gogi is just guarding his uh, his jungle here. They don't want to get the block there. Still being fairly passive. Uh, Mech, however, does get off his ward right now. Still, the uh, the pleasantries continue with another good luck. Have fun coming the way of Lizard here on the Rubik. Yeah. For my insanity on the radiant side, also Gogi playing the life sealer with Milan playing the shadow fiend. We have Cuisine playing the lich, and that leaves of course Mitch on the off lane clockwork. Then we have Solo playing the Dazzle, Sima the Slayer playing the support gyrocopter, Pasha playing the slaughter, G playing the mid lane wind ranger, and it leaves of course Mech on the dark seer here. Which was looking for the bot room, but uh, with two, two heroes here, he already has to start backing up right now. As you will. And yeah, Vegas are playing on the dire side. Oh, I almost forgot to say that one. And uh, Mech, he got two clarities here, a lot of uh, regeneration and consumables. So he just wants to make sure that uh, he can stay on his lane as long as possible before going. Maybe go to the jungle if the uh, need arises. And Actually, on the other side, my Sandy, they're, they're gonna go for a, a dual lane here. Took out a creep on the mid lane, I'm gonna assume, and uh, just rotating to top here, the cuisine that is. What's wrong with my mic then? Uh, killer Spirit? I'll read it in two minutes. Uh, so far, they already actually got a kill onto the career of my insanity here. That's actually really, really fast. Where did they find it? They find the middle. Yeah, they sniped out the uh, out the bottle there, and that's just mean. Killing of four couriers, man. Sima, it's not nice. But he did get it. Some nice gold for him and his team. But just going back here to top, they want to try and keep Mitch away as, uh, as best as possible, but so far he's already getting his level 2. And Guzine is already taking out the creeps all the time. He's almost also level 2, well, Mech on the, uh, the bot lane, he is a little bit more, a little bit tougher time. He's also about the same level though, but he's getting harassed out quite heavily by Lizard. He already has to pop his uh, health solve as well as a clarity here. And Lizard is going to go on the hunt for him, he wants to deny that clarity, there we go. And he starts laying in some real damage. He does get a little... Well, real damage is, of course, a little bit sarcastic. Yeah. He has to start running away right now. And uh, he will get to the creep wave eventually. There we go. Back to his friend, Gogi. And all is good and sound. Actually, he's going forward. But yeah, he just gets cocked into the face and has to back up. Tolo gets some nice frost run into his face. But I'll go back to it. Milan in the middle. How is he doing first? The... Uh, Wind Ranger played by G so far. He has uh, only two less hits. He's being kept really, really down by G. He was just playing really well. 11 less hits as well as four denies already on the side of him. G, that's just pretty. It's just going his way, this lane. And Goki is already up to 13 less hits right now. He's just he's doing fine here in the lane. There's a little bit more pressure on Pasha here with the dual lane on top. So Understandable that they lose a little bit. Info. Okay, I'm just reading the uh, chat a little bit. Maybe something fun to uh, talk at, talk about. See, my uh, they just pulled in here. I'm really wondering how the gyrocopter will uh, will fit in here. 
Uh, it's a really squishy hero. It doesn't have really a lot of lockdown. The only thing it really provides as a support is a, is a single target nuke. As well as the, yeah, it's a flag cannon. But flag cannon, when your support just doesn't really deal that much damage. You can already see only 48 uh, damage on him. Yo, Milo, he's gonna get his ball right now. But well, Milan, he, he's not even close to his. He still needs uh, three more or less hits or wait for another minute or so. Mackie is just running around the trees, making sure the lizard can find him. But it's an illusion when he, uh, he's not really able to send to, to him, yeah. But Gogi, okay, he has his feast, so he's just able to less it quite well. He takes some damage from the iron shells, but uh, also resends it, so. Here we go, another deny coming by him. Lizard finds uh, Mega again, and uh, just running forward, backward, just keeping a little bit of the pressure on him, keeping him on his toes. Oh, the road again, no, just a uh, casual stacking here by the illusion from Lizard. Oh, Windranger, he found an in invisibility rune. Will he be able to do something with it here? Well, first we're going to look at top because this might just be first blood. Cox hasn't been used and the rocket barrage is all on him. Solo picking up the first blood here, going the way of Vega. Woo! That goes fast here. That's just nice. This is really what they needed on the side of, uh, of Vega. So far they were able to get away with these dual lanes. Although they're really far, they're already a little bit behind in the uh, in the graphs on the mine centi, but still the dual lanes were working out quite well. They were keeping down some of the cores. But actually, Mac is doing really fine right now. Twenty two less hit, but Lizard uh, going into the jungle to start stacking. So uh, just so that Milan can have a little bit easier time later on, because now he just he kept down completely. He has only nine souls. Now he got ten, so he's he's still it's it's just not enough. He needs a little bit more, and he's just keeping him at par really, really well at the moment. Ooh. Which he gets another cox. More draining going the way on Pasha. Who now has his magic one being delivered. He was just still doing fine. He got a couple of less hits, but going too strong. Dodo just ran middle. Was able to do anything, so he will just start walking back right now. There's still a dual lane here, so if he walks into the back, it might actually be a little bit dangerous. Mitch is though, is really far forward. He knows that Sima is there, and Sima sees him as well. Solo walks in. Ooh. He gets some ice thrown into his face. Mitch is there, Rocket Barrage as well, doing a lot of damage. Mitch, the, over half HP. And yeah, he just, uh, he's gonna walk back now a little bit. Gonna use his, heads, uh, his health pot, and he's still fine though. Especially since he has uh, 10 uh, charges on his uh, on his stick. This is actually going to be a, uh, a really early, well, a really early, a 6 minute uh, minus for uh, for Gogi. So he can keep on par with uh, the farming on the side of, uh, of Vega. Lift up onto Mech, thrown back. There's going to be rotation in from Solo, is the potion near? No, it's just not close enough. A vacuum is just not there, he just threw down the wall, but... Yeah, that wall just did absolutely nothing. However, Solo is able to walk around it. And does a little bit more damage here to Lizard, but Lizard is still just fine. Middle Milan. Oh, that's what though. He just waited for Lizard to get out there and to get a kill. And now they're gonna dive underneath Kogi. He just goes <laughs> into the creep here, but it was actually putting the aggro of the three. He jumps out again and. Full HP, and. Yeah, they're not gonna dive it right now with no. Uh, with no creeps, they're gonna wait for the next creep wave, and then they might actually just try it. Are they able to return back in time with Lizard? No, he has to walk right now. Okay, they're not even gonna go underneath it. The illusions from, uh, from Milan do see Solo here. There we go, just doing some damage to it. And they're gonna start stealing the stacks right now. First, it's gonna take the medium stack. Have they actually spotted out the, he the hard stack already? I don't think so. Mech, yeah, he's just gonna, oh, he is found, he's gonna get lifted up, there we go, in the middle of his surge, he's gonna get pulled back, but they're just gonna turn this one on Lizard, let's take a lot of damage from this iron shell as well, it's poison, and there we go, he's gonna fall here, the second kill already, Mech is trying to find him versus Gogi, but there's gonna be the raise on the back from Milan, second raise misses though, so no, he's just running away, yeah, he's not gonna be stopped here, well, on the, meanwhile, on the top, Lich is picking up a kill here, however, now Sima is able to find him, Rocket Barrage is him, together with a homing missile, and they kill him off, Still, it's a fine trade to trade your Lich for a uh, 
position one hero at any time. Well, at the same time, G also rotated into the bot. I got the kill on Milan, and now Gogi here uses his, uh, his slow, and he just kills off uh, G here on the Wind Ranger. I open wounds, damn it. And now Rubik. He also came back there as well, and now they're just all rotating to the bottom all the time. They're just sleep in. Die. Go back to base. Keep in again. Maybe it will slow down a little bit now. And. Uh, well, will it? ED on Lizard right now. But yeah, there's already uh, all of them coming through the jungle right now. And they see another stack. And they'll just go and try to clear this one as well. He actually put the orb on a victory this. I don't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not what he wanted. He usually try to put it on a little one. So just so you get more XP as well as farm. But again, this is just a nice deal for, uh, for Mac. Just deny more farm on the way of uh, Vice Anti. And Milan really needs it. He's just really far behind right now. Ooh, Shackle did hit him, but they're not able to follow this up. It's, it's a little bit too far towards the back. Ooh. Yeah, power shots. Just hit some uh, little creeps. And just look at all these people in the in the raiding jungle right now. Pega will start to retreat right now. I think they had enough of uh, of walking around here. Now they're just gonna go four men on bot. Oh no, hook shot! It hits on G. He's gonna pop wind run. Now he's still not using it. He's just gonna use shackle here. Or he's just turning his one around a bit. He just has to start running away. Caldon is used. Solo really low. Oh, slowed here on the side of my insanity. Lizard a hooky eye and as well as a rocket barrage. They're gonna pick him up there with the gyro, cop the shackle. Gogi, he is on to a three here right now. M Milan just came in, he's gonna get amplified damage on him. And if he starts running back, yeah, he's gonna get a homing miss on him right now and earn as well. And just start running after him. Are they able to get a good shackle shot off? Well, essentially, they don't need to. Oh, one race, it did a lot of damage, but yeah, really. Gonna kill of it. It's not gonna happen. Start of picking that one up right now. Is he just. I don't think he will continue building up his, uh, his vanguard here. We're gonna assume he's gonna build a, uh, a blink now straight away. We'll start transitioning this into a tier 1 push on bottom as well. We'll see him so far. This uh, support gyrocraft has been working out 2 0 and 3. How's he doing on the net worth? He's doing fine. He's 5th uh, from the bot, 4th uh, from his team, so. In the fourth position, that's exactly <laughs> where, you, where you are supposed to be, I assume. assume. Pasha is at the moment on the top of, uh, of Vega. He got 4.3k. About 800 gold of his, uh, of his blink dagger. Rogue, however, is uh, lead farming right now. 5k, 5k. And, but he does have his Midas, so... We'll see when it starts to kick in and what build he is going to offer. Maybe the Sanjay Yasha build that we see from uh, time to time. Or he might even go the armlet will. Either of them are quite flyable at the moment. Ooh, G hook shot into him. Mid found him. Very soon as well. He popped wind run. He's not taking a lot of damage, although not from physical damage at this, but yeah, he's not gonna be able to keep you out. He just gets lift up and there we go. Kill was taken by Mitch with the battery assault. Dolo. Is he gonna get uh, frost onto him? Was blessed. No. He's just spit pushing here right now. Three heroes from Vega on bot, and they're able to get this tower uncontested. Well, middle. My sense is trying to take this, maybe this uh, tier one here, but. Yeah, they're not really able to with the uh, creep being drawn away from the tower at all times. It's actually being really tough for Vega right now. They're actually almost 5k behind on gold. Uh, uh, just uh, 2.5k on experience. Bad top so far, they're really so taking uh, this game into their hands. They have the uh, little bit more map control. They already take out the safe lane of Evan Tower of the Radiant side. So it's. They get a little bit more control into the jungle of My Sanity, which is really good in this case because My Sanity really needed to catch back up with, uh, with Shadow King. Right now, he isn't. Oh, aggressive grief! Oh man, this army is just being reduced so fast. Look at that. It's gonna be a dead lizard. And yeah, Milan, he just started running away. So he might just say, oh. And we've just really ticks in. And now they're just gonna position this into a tier 1 push. They got four people here. Well, uh, Max just went to top. Yes, um, Iron Shells. He should be able to just do fine versus Gogi here. 
Just stay a little bit in the back, don't get hit too much. Yeah. Once open, which is used, just surge away. Or oh, here's a blink forward from Milan, and just gonna turn back right away. Because I see the TP in for Mage. Hooks it oh, off the mark. And they lose the tier 1 tower as well. Vega picking that one up as well. G taking it. Now, oh. TP out from Gogi, but yeah. Back is not gonna let you do that so easily. Varsha. He's, no, he is, yeah, he's just gonna run away right now. Call down use. It's gonna slow them. Milan is slow too. Soul is really walking forward. Fairly aggressively, but he just used his uh, Shadow Game to heal himself by the kill of the Shadow Fiend here. He's already triple kill. Oh, this is actually bouncing really nice. Dies here. No. There's at least a 3 for 2 so far. Oh, nice Shackle shot hitting the last 2 of my insanity. Wall hits him as well. And there's a double kill to G as well. As well as Mech picking up another kill. This is just... It's so bad. The 5 man wipe and now they're gonna take another tier 1 here. All the tier th tier 1s of my insanity taking in rapid succession here. They just get it. One or two kills. Take the tower or in this case they just take an entire team wipe. And yeah, there was the uh, the blink dagger has been picked up by Slaughter, as I said before. He now also has the Vanguard. Well, gee, he just finished up the uh, four seven, a little bit more mobility as well as just a great item first as a clockwork, just to be able to, you know, force just uh, four step yourself or one of your uh, teammates out of the cox. Solo, he's just going to brace the build. He just wants to be su survive through the fights. Mac, he is uh, he has his blink now as well, together with the mechanism. But they're starting to get a lot of initiation on the side of Vega as well. Oh, with the double blink diggers up. There you go, with the uh, amplified damage, you just start taking rush right now. This has been spotted out yeah, by my sentry through wards and through rockets. So they're starting to converge into it, but they're not just close enough yet. Okay, now they can hookshot in. Mitch has a little surprise with him. Hookshot in. And look at this damage already coming out. Slap down on the ground from Rush. Rush is really low. Varsha taking a lot of damage. Milan doing just a good job here. He's already too dead on the side of Vega. And he's just gonna take this Rush here. Mech able to turn this one around. Who killed it? Rush is gonna be killed by the Radiance. And also been taken up by my HMT. So Vega not able to make the big play here. He is still up there. Are they able to find him though? Yeah, Hookshot is up there. He forces off himself down and just starts running. But at the same time, Solo has been found. Gogi getting a double kill. And just like Vega took a 5-man wipe, now they take a 4-man wipe as well as lose Rush. However, they were able to take down the Aegis on Mitch straight away. So at least there's a little bit of a win there. But still, the 1,000 gold bones as well as XP goes away of my sanity. So just a good fight going their way. This should uh, really bring the, bring the graphs a little bit more even. Yeah, you can see it is already a big spike upwards on both. And even on XP, they're already ahead. And let's take a little bit of a look at the items of the side of my Sanity. And this is going to be the, the armor built on Gogi on the Life Sealer. And Milan, he is going to build up for, for his mech. He's really close, but 10 gold off. And well, Mitch was just shackled into a tree. Focus fire onto him. He's, he's actually still alive. And. Ooh, he needs one more hit and then we're able to get it. Amplify damage, making it a little bit easier to get vision on him. Random smoke uses there. I just don't want to show everybody here. I am gonna assume and he's just gonna back up solo, walking forward. He just what? He's just walking in there. He's a man. Chain Frost bouncing around right now, bouncing. Okay, he's gonna stop bouncing now. Call down him. Yeah, that's gonna take another kill there. Oh, and now Grazine is gonna take a fall as well. Another five man wipe now going the way of Vega. Just dealing blows left, right, and center from both teams. Just as my center was able to get a little bit back up there. Vega says no and just put them back into the place here. And 10 to 20, already 30 kills in this 17 and a half minute match. Man, Solo, he just walked up the rent there. I just didn't care at all. Like, you know, I got my two braces, I got my blink. I'm gonna walk up there. That is just whoo! Hooks it in on Solo. No, there is gonna be the surprise. Gogi is there. And no shallow grave there. Is he buybacks? What? Instant buyback from Solo? Okay. 
I'm not completely sure that if he meant to do that, but he did, and now he's back. Might as well start getting some XP and a little bit of farm. Well, Pasha is going very aggressive here. But he gets open moods into him. He's not able to blink out from this. Yeah, he's gonna take a fall here. And there we go. Kogi taking up the skill. He's already 2.8k. What's he gonna go for? Is he gonna build towards maybe an AC? Sanche Yasha is, is getting a little bit too late for the Sanche Yasha. Maybe a Skull Basher, Hyperstone. Maybe something along those lines. Well, the uh, mechanism on Milan has now been finished. So at least uh, they got a little bit more sustain there going their way. Which they really needed. They were getting blown up really, really hard. I'm not making more people mod today, guys. Uh, I already got. To, I already made two people mod. If you want to be a mod, by the way, go watch. Uh, we're going to be streaming as well on Sunday for the Swiss Championship. Just come uh, on Sunday and Saturday, actually, though, throughout the entire weekend from, I believe, from 1 p.m. GEST. So uh, make sure that you join in then. We might may make more mods then. Since we have a little bit of a lower, fewer percentage there, so we can really, you know, see who's with us. And, uh... Yeah, he's just doing some aggressive farming here on the bot lane. We will uh, move out now. And he, all, he already got his, uh, his Agonyms now as well. 20 minutes and he got a 4 staff plus Agonyms. Uh, he's gonna build a crit after this. He just wants to start killing people now. Courier is building up a Yasha here on, uh, on Milan. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be Diffuse Blade, that would be just too weird. And Aghanims is fighting this. Oh, hooks it on Pasha with the surprise invest of Gogi. Pasha goes down here. DP in from Dazzle, but uh, Solo is just too late. Rockwork even gets a nice bounce rune for all of his uh, trouble to get there. Blizzard picked up the uh, Idalia now. A little bit more minus armor on the side of my Sentry now. They're actually quite... They're really getting back into the game right now. Let's see, look at this here. Yeah, it's going... It's an acceptable... Uh, well... The deficit, yeah, for my sensor right now. It's nothing too big. Probably getting the call down on Twins. That's about it. I'm not able to still get any towers so far. Thank you, Min! But the wall hasn't been dropped. He gets thrown back, Pasha goes in forward, they find Laser, but that's the only one so far, and they're already TPing and running out on the side of, uh, no, they're not able to find anybody, on the side of my sanity. They're pinging fairly, fairly aggressively, but, yeah, there's no one. Mitch is in his jungle right now, it's actually quite a dangerous spot to be, because you can see the lag right there. Are they gonna go after him, Pasha? He wants to go for Milan if he could do there, but he didn't. So now he was just standing there in the forest, doing nothing. Oh, uh, if the sound is out of sync, maybe try to go to a lower quality. Okay. Now folks fire into the tier 2 here and they're taking a lot of damage. My SMT is not just... Get yeah, they're just starting to walk in right now. Throw some frost armor into the tower and... Let's see when does the hookshot in come from Mitch. There's the infest, now they're ready. Gima is on the front lines, they're gonna throw a rocket out right now. It's gonna go into Lizard. Yeah, they're just gonna destroy it right now. Hookshot into Sima, there we go. Surprise is there. There's gonna be the force of four from Sima though, but he gets still grab, so he's able to get off a little bit of damage there. A little bit, it's actually quite a lot. He gets killed off right now and they have to start running away. Wall is not really in place, and Solo is trying to find him. Versus Major doesn't work. G Shackle shot focus fire, he is down. Now they have to start running away. Oh, <laughs> the crush hitting two Gobi is dead. Blizzard is dead. Three down. Zine There's going to be the surge forward. The amplified damage. Crush. Oh, <laughs> blown up. Milan. He's looking for something here, yeah, but. Looking for something is not what he should be doing right now. He has to start running away. Shackle shot onto him first as well. Amplified damage is there. Power shot. Oh, they just need one more hit. There we go. Then I get it. Goki, he buybacks. He's going to go after G, but he popped Windrun. He's not able to hit him. Another buyback is used. Lasers come back into it as well. And. What? Oh, he just walked over each other. Okay. Well. 
Those were just some buybacks used there. And Parse is still in the base. He's just, yeah, he's just gonna start blinking out right now. Big fight going the way of Vega. Even two buybacks used. Here you go. Bogey used it as well as Lizard. Oh. That's some big commitments here. They weren't really able to get anything out of it. Man, man, man. They got, they're just taking this uh, this game into the, into the control again. Here, look at this. Over 7.5k net worth. They're finally trying to surpass their previous uh, top point there. And uh, yeah, there we go. 5k net worth now as well. Well, G is going the slashers build plus uh, 4 stuff. Back. He has a plate mill. So he's most likely going to be building up to Shiva. GMI is also building a uh, four step here. We might see some uh, homing missile shenanigans, but it's probably just for the uh, for the clockwork. But Slardar, he has been stopped really, really hard with his uh, progression. They kept him down. And with Slardar being a Slardar, he's just not able to farm up that yeah, that fast. So he's getting close towards his uh, BKB. 900 gold off. So. It could have been worse. Dodo, you see, he got his mango, he's happy. Oh, hooks it into him, he's not so happy now anymore. And he gets blown up by the last race there before he can get Shadow Grave up. Lizard, yeah, he hasn't been able to steal the big feet. I haven't really seen him make big play right now. And there we go, Shivas is done now on Mac. Brazil, he got a Sanjay. So we got a list with. Is Senshi? Is he gonna go for Evans Albert? Is about to get over. Okay. Maybe he's building up towards a uh, Silver's Edge? Who knows? You usually go uh, Glimmer Cape first though, but okay. We, you never know, man. You never know. A little bit of Frost onto G. A little bit of Nine Shell onto Mag. A little bit of Shiva's Guard. Wall down, lift up. Chain Frost bouncing around. Lizard. He is still alive though, but oh the chains frost here, oh my god, they're ridiculous. However, Mech is able to get the kill without dying himself. Does he have a TP? He does have a TP. Blink forward, there we go, he's gonna TP out right now. But they're looking at G here, and Brin running away, are they able to get towards him? Four step forward, no, of the mark, TP out. He's just gonna get a little bit of a buff in the wolf here. Oh, <laughs> there we go, another four step. But what's he gonna do now? He gets to. He's just trying to run around to three easy balls. Team come in, and that's a good call here. There you go. BKB pop by Parsi. He's gonna get fight into Mish with this amplified damage. While Gogi is just getting blown up here by the focus fire. Five men down again on the side of my insanity. Vega taking the team wipe. Woo. And now it's just getting tougher and tougher. Man, I thought Meg might just die there, but. We didn't, they just needed one more bounce in him, but the luck wasn't there. The luck just wasn't there. But now they're back into it again. They're actually uh, over 10k now at 27 minutes. It's going to be tough for them to get ba catch back up because they don't really have those fast farming heroes. They only have a Midas on the live seeder and that will only bring them so far. Iron Shell by Solo my Lizard. It's nice to have, but it's. You can just put it on the uh, Mitch when he goes in with the hook shot. But it's just not that big steal. Not a vacuum or anything like that. There you go. Iron Shell to him. He goes into Mag here, but he just gets vacuum out of the Cox. And now Mitch is on the other side. Mag is getting it pulled up. Razors are there to kill him off. And now they will start walking back towards the base. Mitch. He just forced off himself down to the uh, low ground. It's gonna be Sanjay and Yosha on the Shadow V now. Gogi, what did he actually go for? He went for the Shadow. Shadow. He went for the Basher. After that, he's most likely gonna be picking up a uh, Hyperstone just to get uh, more procs. Or he might even opt to get an Abyssal Blade, but I think that's a little bit too far off. Because they have to start defending their base soon with Rush already being up right now. Slasher's build is real. There we go, Slaughter is building towards his uh, AC right now. Just more minus armor. Coming away from Vega. 
Nice empty. They have to start picking up an AC or something along those lines for themselves. I don't think the medallion is enough. Pardon me. Let's see what does uh, this Lich have right now. He went for the all Heavens Albert. Yeah, it's actually really nice for G right now. He doesn't have a BKB, but I think once he sees that there's an Heavens Albert, he will pick it up. Azure and invisibility, that's just nasty. He's standing just outside of the tower range here. If somebody comes forward. Are we going to see some aggressive solo movements here? Just walking into the base casually. Four up forward onto a creep. I don't know who the hell did that. Doesn't matter. Smoke usage. Are we going to find someone? I'm just not able to see anybody just yet. We're waiting for uh, my sent to defend the tower, but they don't care about the creeps anymore. This is Blow Blizzard, that's gonna be the four four stuff. They're gonna be the hookshot in from Mitch. But he is uh, well Lizard is actually dying. Now they're all the fight all over the place. The Requiem has been popped, the wall has been put down. There's gonna be the death on Milan already. He's down for the count. This is butt back. G is gonna get open with the team. He just pops his uh, wind run there. Bush, he runs in, he runs out. And the courier from the Radiant side has been killed as well. That fight just erupted out of the nowhere. Just jump in, boom, everything popped. And so far, Vega are out just on top of it. They lost, essentially, they lost nothing apart from some ultimates, which was the. Well, my Santi lost their ultimates, plus a buyback, plus two kills. Now the tower taking off damage, G is uh, he's over half health, he's taking a step back. Who's took an aim for Mitch, there's gonna be another invest bomb. They're gonna go after Shima first right now, but he gets off the call down just before dying, doesn't hit anybody, G is still alive here. Ooh, Cox not enough to kill him though, Mitch is still fighting it up here versus two, but this is a fight that he is gonna lose eventually, there we go. He does use his shadow, his shadow blade, his blade mill, but... It just lost a little bit of time and at least now it was a successful hold for my sentry. They were able to get two kills as well as uh, the egg is on the side from Vega. But yeah, G, he wants this tower. 60 HP. Milan is there though. Clearing out the waves. Okay, we're well, gonna walk forward in. Aggressive weave out. Milan, yo. It was a good race onto Solo, killing him off. And now Milan, he's on the hunt, but he's not able to find anybody. Aerocopter, he has uh, finished off a Vladimir's uh, offering here. A nice item for them, just buffs up the entire team. Gives more armor as well. No uh, AC completely yet on the Slaughter G. He finished up the Dela, so he actually didn't go for the BKB as expected. He might be picking that up next. And who do we got left right now? Okay, Mac. He's building towards a refresher right now. And Solo, he just got a casual cloak. Milan. He still has got his Sanjay Yashi. He does have 2k now. He will probably need it for the buyback. Milan, Mitch, I mean, he got his, uh, his blade, we got it from the time now. Also, 1200 gold. Might be building towards uh, Megan is next, but uh, that means if he doesn't die here, which he actually will, G just completely blows him up there. Well, now they're just fighting on two sides at the same time. But it's gonna be Solo, he's gonna take the fall here. Well, the Chain Frost has been thrown in. Hmm, that's quite odd. Okay, well, Chain Frost just did absolutely nothing here, and he just get blown up. It's already three dead on the side of my Sentry and they're looking for more. Are they able to find it? No, the TP out is there from Lizard. Push three people's dead on the side of my Sentry. Vega's just gonna look for a push right now. They're, they're already moving towards bottom right now. Look at this, Pash is already going aggressively. He's just going here. He just pushed Amplified Damage onto him. Crush down. He gets lifted, thrown to the back. Rage has been popped. He's taking a lot of damage. He has to get out. Who shot just hit? Oh, that's sadly his Gogi there, so he wasn't able to stun down Pasha. He's supposed to blade mill, but gets pulled back with the Fakim here. Blink forward, he gets killed off there. 
Dogs here, Mac picking it up now. Rex are next on the menu. There are some uh, already two amplified items out, so. With the main initiator down, it's actually gonna be really tough for my sanity to do anything about these Rex. Which, well, they won't be able to. They used to the glyph, but they're still 30 seconds half of clockwork. They're gonna lose these Rex. Both of them. Well, uh, my sense is just looking around a little bit, hoping that they may be overcommit, run underneath the tier force or something like that. But... Like, are they gonna go for the bottom tower? Yeah, they're moving towards it already. Speed wave is gonna push in. Yeah. Nice amount of range speed and as well as a catapult in it, so... It's a nice big wave there and the tower is almost down, only 400 more uh, HP left on it. Defensive uh, weave is used there. Blizzard runs forward, but yeah, this is gonna be his dead. That was way too aggressive there. And he just, uh, yeah, he gets killed 60 seconds without a Rubik. They just keep on losing one person all the time, so they can't fight at full strength. Look at that shackle shot there, Gogi. He is not able to get anything off before he dies here. There's another one that is well Mitch dead. Brazine, he's taking a lot of damage. Babek used by Gogi. He wants to go after Pasha. Chris is there to kill off uh, Mitch now. Pasha taking a lot of damage from Gogi here, but he already got back up there. And, oh, look at the damage he gets blown up. This is GG. Here we go, it's called Vega are true. They're gonna be playing versus London Conspiracy in the same Well, same what's wrong with me. In the loser bracket final. They're guaranteed of 500 euros then at least if they lose. If they win, they're gonna fight for the grand prize of 3000 euros. And if you become second, you still get 1500 euros. Nice. Can't really see. Oh, well played on the side of uh, Vega here winning it. Ooh, congratulations, they're gonna one first LC. Sadly, we won't see the, our base camp winner, my insanity, win this tournament as well. But yeah, we're just gonna go into the uh, versus now. This was actually all the, the best of three of today, and uh, that was it for me. I'm gonna sign and now put on some music and uh, talk a little bit with you guys. Hope to see you guys in the lobby when the chat.